So you're probably wondering what in the world is going on with Anthem, the loot system, what's going to be happening after the Stronghold releases, and where is the missing content? So we have brand new updates for you guys about that, plus the announcement of a player feedback environment, which seems like it could be acting like Battlefield's CTE, so that things are tested and you know player feedback is given before content is officially released so we have a lot to talk about official statement from bioware let's do this hey everyone what's up open world games here and yes this is a double upload of all things anthem today if you missed the first video i did today check it out on the channel it's a super important video that goes over all the recent changes to the javelins and weapons buffs nerfs and the game as well but let's get into this shall we so this is what Bioware posted out on the Anthem community. Reddit here, update on Anthem from the development team. Furthermore, it says this. Hey, everyone, it's been 10 weeks since the early access release of Anthem. While we have been quiet publicly, we have been hard at work in the background, and we wanted to provide an update on the state of the game. Furthermore, it says this. Uh, the past 10 weeks, we have learned a lot since the game went live. We have heard a lot of feedback from all of you, and we have been working diligently to improve as many things as we can in the short term. We fixed a lot of the bugs and made changes which we believe begin to point us in the right direction for the future. That being said, we know there's a long way to go before Anthem becomes the game we all want it to be. So we are, so where are we at today? Dot, 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 good question. So it basically summarizes the recent update, the new stronghold came out, access to the forge anywhere in the world, ability to launch a new exhibition from the end of the exhibition menu without loading into the Fort Tarsus, and then access to contracts without having to run around and pick them up. So a lot of quality of life stuff here, good additions for sure, uh, and then a bunch of other patch notes were released. Check those out again. I did a whole video if you wanted to see that, but you know, a lot of stuff was missing too. Like, where's the mastery system? Where is everything? So we're going to be talking about those delays right now, and then getting into that feedback test environment uh, that was also revealed. So, Act 1 calendar says this, while we have to delivered many of the Act 1 features on time, we are not going to hit all of our goals for the Act 1 calendar. We have been prioritizing things like bug fixes, stability, and gameflow over the new features of Act 1. We set aside time for this work, but the reality is there are more things to fix and improve than we plan for. While this is the best thing for uh, to do for the game, it means some items from the calendar will be delayed. Such a bummer to hear. And here are the specifics about those delays. It says features delayed, the mastery system, guilds, legendary missions, phase two, weekly stronghold challenge, leaderboards, some free play events, and then the cataclysm is also going to be seeing a delay. How severe of a delay? They don't mention dates. They don't give a time frame, which is a bummer. But I hate to see the Cataclysm in there because I was wanting to see that released in May. But I told you guys, I was I was wholeheartedly expecting delays, and here they are. Now, it says this, we want to make sure everything we add to the game has a purpose and fits with our long-term goals. When we have information to share on the items above, we will do so. So, yeah, stay tuned, guys, for any updates about specifics related to release dates and stuff like that uh, and more specific uh, dates when those things will be delayed too. Now, what about the Cataclysm? It says this, the Cataclysm is an important addition to the game as it's currently a big focus for the team. The Cataclysm will bring new challenges and rewards and push the story of Anthem forward. As our work continues, we will share more with you in May. So we're gonna be learning more about the Cataclysm in May. Hopefully they nailed down exactly what this thing is, what it does, and it's very significant. Uh, and, you know, can change, uh, you know, a lot with this game going forward. But I don't know if it's going to be releasing in May or not. It's just gut-wrenching to say that. Uh, now, what about loot? It says, we have heard your concerns around in-game loot. We agree that our loot and progression systems need to be improved, and we are working towards this. When we have more information to share, we will. And that's all they say about the loot. Basically the same stuff we already know. So, that's a bummer, too. I wanted more, like, concrete information about what's going on with the loot stuff. But they did hire a bunch of people recently. To me, it looks like they're going to be getting people in there that really know about loot systems and RPG mechanics. Of course, they should have had at the very beginning, of course, but uh, let's keep going here. Now, what about communication? It says, a lesson we learned is we have been talking about things too early. There are so many factors that can cause us to pivot our plans, whether it's bugs, instability issues, player feedback, or complications with the feature that require us to take more time to deliver it. 
Our goal is to tell you about new content and features once the work is closer to being done. At the same time, we want to provide uh, more ways to get your feedback and for you to tell us what you think is fun or not fun. To facilitate this, we plan to introduce a player feedback environment, an opportunity to get your feedback before we go live with major uh, features in the short term for PC only. So uh, they really want to get you know, people hands-on with the game, it sounds like, before they release any updates, look for any issues, test out stuff related probably to the loot systems. Maybe they can track down, you know, unwanted bugs when the official launch happens. Uh, Battlefield has, uh, you know, the CTE, which is pretty similar. So who knows what will happen with that. There's no release date on that either, but I will keep you guys in the know as to when that will be happening. Also, it says this, closing, we know you have been waiting for these updates and that you might not be pleased with where we are today. We understand and respect these perspectives. The only thing we can say is this, we believe in Anthem. We believe the game will be great, but we recognize getting there will take a lot of hard work. We want to do that work, and we want you all to join us on the journey to get there. Thanks for taking the time to read this update, Ben and Chad. So, again... I'm having major flashbacks to Star Wars Battlefront 2. This is, uh, it's happened all over again. Uh, they had to rework so many things with Battlefront 2, and here we are. I, I'm just blown away that this is uh, what has happened. But um, with the new Stronghold, speaking to the new Stronghold that released, I'm actually enjoying that one at the very least. And uh, a lot of people are kind of bummed out by the boss. That the boss is actually like just a larger fury. And I get that. I knew that would be the response the moment I faced this. I was like, oh, it's a giant fury. Uh, people will definitely complain about this for sure. But, um, I mean, the environment itself, when you see this environment, I was very, very taken away by this environment. Like, this is definitely impressive stuff here. Uh, if they could keep rolling out environments like this, that would be great. But anyway... Uh, yeah, stay tuned for more updates uh, with uh, what's going on with Anthem. But you guys did leave some reactions and comments about the Sunken Stronghold, the latest update, how you're feeling about it. Uh, so let's take a look at those right now. Uh, so the first top comment comes from XIDS Genocide, who says, Nobody's going to care unless they fix the loot. It's the one glaring issue that the community keeps raising, and I can't believe it's that difficult to increase drop rates. Of higher level gear, doubt I'll even play the stronghold since I know all I'll get is blues and purples. It just seems like to me there's some sort of weird glitch in this game. I don't know what it is. I've heard the developers talking about it on Reddit that there's something just wrong with the uh, loot system. Um, and then there's uh, another theory where you can go in, create a new javelin from scratch, you know, whole new loadout, ha basically start from zero, I guess you would say. Go into free play, that's going to reset the pilot data, and then you delete that, and then you go back into the game, and then you will be able to get proper drops once you go back to your, you know, legendary javelin or something like that. So there's definitely something wrong. Uh, with the loot system, there's some bugs, more than some bugs, there's definitely bugs going on, and it just seems like the experience from person to person is so radically different. You've probably seen in my gameplay, for example, for some weird reason, I was picking up a legendary the moment I went into the game. So I don't know what the deal is uh, with the loot system between uh, from peer to peer, it's just weird. Alright, Juan says this, who else thinks that if they are going to have a melee dependent jab, they should have some melee-type weapons for that jab. Yeah, absolutely. That'd be really cool to see something like that down the road. Would it be my style of play? I'm not too sure. I do enjoy the Interceptor, so I do kind of consider him to currently be the melee-centric javelin, of course. But, uh, yeah, there's no mention of them adding new javelins anytime soon. I wouldn't hold your breath on that one at all because they got to fix this game. So, yeah, that's a bummer to say. But uh, HuffPuff says this, awesome stronghold. I'm not about hating the game or demanding this or that. The game is getting there. So he enjoys the stronghold. I'm really enjoying the stronghold. I'm going to go hop back in and live stream as well. Uh, so yeah, hop in and join me and uh, say hello if you want to. Uh, Jay says this, still no outlaw stronghold. Wow, I guess I'll check again in May. See if the game is worth getting back into. So a lot of you guys want to see an outlaw stronghold, by the way. I'm seeing that more and more mentioned. 
And I'm curious to see uh, how you guys feel about that. Do you really want to outlaw Stronghold or not? Post a comment down below. Now also, Paula uh, says this. Really, that's the boss. That's why we waited all this time for. They pulled a Destiny and made a regular enemy three times bigger and called it a boss. Wow. Yeah, so looks like they added additional artwork to it and stuff. And uh, Yeah, I knew that would be a complaint the moment I saw this. Fury. I really love Furies, but uh, I agree they could have done something a little bit different. But the environment itself, again, is... Uh, I was really impressed with this water effect that was going around. My jaw dropped. So, uh, overall, you know, I enjoyed the uh, Sunken uh, Stronghold. Except for, you know, the fact that it was a Fury that kind of acted like too much like a Fury. It just needs more moves and stuff like that. It needs to be... Uh, Way different than the current existing Furies. But it, it's tough. Like, sometimes it gets tough, which I like the difficulty as well. But, uh, yeah, it's just a mixed bag right now with Anthem. You know, many different uh, opinions going on. And, of course, letdowns with, uh, the. you know, they did not nail down the Act 1 calendar at all. So, we got the Stronghold. But, of course, we didn't get the Master System and other things. So... It's a bummer overall. Like, I'm, I'm very bummed. Uh, but hopefully we hear more about what's going on in the future. And uh, get some updates, more specific updates about the loot and stuff. But guys, stay tuned here for more Anthem and Overworld Gaming uh, goodness. I will definitely keep you guys in the know as to what is going on with Anthem going forward. I will always update you about this game. I will be trickling in other games uh, very soon because I'm going to be going to L.A., uh, for the Borderlands 3 reveal. So that's going to be cool. I'll be able to get some gameplay, get that up here on the channel, and talk about that a lot. So yeah, look look out for that. That's going to be cool. But thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more, and I will see you all next time. Take care.